harmony. What does that say there? Since 1892 or something, they all say it. I got another one of those Harmony H80 T. The T stands for that, the Trimbo, aka Whammy Bar. Of course, it didn't look like this. Uh, uh, what? Where is it? Ah! It did have that on it. Typical Strat copy knockoff Japan uh, SSS three single coils and uh, I I thought all right screw it I I'm gonna mod this guitar out so I went to Guitar Parts online and I bought this pre-wired pick guard and it just had the, the tone and the volume. I drilled another hole and I put this thing right here, this push-pull pot, and uh, as a the pick guard, it was a 32.95 with the two pickups in it and wired up, and that uh, that other pot I put on there, it's called the Arco BCU Band Controller. It's a little mod, and I'll whack on a few chords here and you can see the difference it makes it's one of the things that's in Dave Gilmore's custom wired guitar plus he does it in concert with another uh, treble bass thing I forget what that's called but anyway uh, this is the old this is just typical Strat knockoff guitar I put that yellow tape lightning bolts and I put the the ring around the humbucker uh, the humbucker down there is a Dragonfire 16.9 uh, kilo ohms and it did have a single coil up here in the neck I took it out and I got a Dragonfire mini railer 12.2 kilo ohms and uh, we put it up there for the hell of it spray painted it yellow <laughs> but uh these 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 old harmony guitars are a decent guitar, especially these these necks. If you can get a hold of one of these maple neck with the maple fretboard, go for it, because uh, you're not gonna an American strap or a Mexican strap these days. You're not gonna get a good neck like this. The ones uh, they're putting out now, the wood they're getting comes from some faulty wood that's out of the the Fender dedicated guitar neck for us and it, it's just not cutting the grade you're not going to get a good old time hard rock maple like this in the fretboard and the neck unless you go Fender custom shop or else buy a, a Fender out of the pawn shop or one of these out of the pawn shop that's pre you know when the neck started getting bad and this is one piece there's no splice on this back of this neck yeah I'll, I'll knock off a few chords on that's the Ibanez Tone Blaster 15 amp and the Orange Crush 15 R 15 amp thing I'll, I'll just I'll play them together they're hooked into the Digitech the Digitech's hooked into the guitar got the Digitech on bypass and I'll show you here in a second what one of these little uh, BCU Arco band control units look like. Because I got another because I'm going to end up putting it on this uh, Fender Modern Player Marauder. I'm turned on to this band control unit thing now. You'll, you'll see why. It really does some neat things without a foot pedal, you know. And I'm I'm playing straight straight amps and the, the Digitech is on bypass. Okay. Okay, there it is. The uh, Artec Active Band Controller, BCU Band Controller Unit. A little push-pull pot. 
and got all kinds of little places around it. But I mean, it's got good instructions. Good instructions they give you. Not a schematic. They give you a good little picture to look at. Like dumb people like me. You got to have a picture to show how to solder it together. They also give you this. That's a stereo jack right there. You got to have a stereo jack. And this, it wires in for the 9 volt battery. Yeah. <laughs> there is a 9 volt battery. You have to get one and, and plug it in. and But it works with regular magnetic passive pickups. And uh, it's a great, it's a great little unit there. Artec BCU band controller unit. Okay, the Artec BCU band controller thing is down. And this is what the the bridge pickup sounds like. Pull it up in what they call the zero position. Back down. Got it over here a little bit in a more like number seven position. It's down, but down a passive, now it's up, you're activated. A little more, it's up. Now it's down. Okay, now I'm what in the what they call the bright area, the brights, but it's down. Now it's up. down. Typical humbucker sound when it's down. Pull it up. More bright. I think I had a Telecaster all of a sudden. Now middle. It's on passive. It's down. Up in that bright zone. Still up. I'm down it towards the more crunchy area. And now I'm on the bridge. I mean the neck pickup. And you know how most people just stay away from just playing the neck because it's about all you get is this. But with this thing, I've got to like it about Number nine in the bright area, pull it up. Down. Down, just kind of a muddy neck pickup sound. Up. Yeah, about number five area. Down. That's passive down. Up and about number seven. All the way, it's down. Down a passive, but now up. So, oh, so easy, you get a little different tones, you're not hitting no foot pedal, and what I think where this thing really shines is on the next pickup. I'm getting a little weird buzzing sounds because I've got a fluorescent light here. It's close to this electronic unit. I've got its battery tight back behind here. Probably going to end up having an explosion here. But it really, I highly recommend this Artec BCU thing. If nothing else, just because of how you can dial in better neck pickup sounds for sure. Passive. Now it's up.
Okay, I highly recommend it. I bought this uh, RTEC BCU band control unit thing right here uh, at Guitar, no, Guitar Heads. Called Guitar Heads. They've got an online store and an eBay store. And like I said, the pick guard pre wired, I got it at Guitar Parts Online. And they've got a online store and an eBay, eBay store too. Pretty good value for your money. I mean, thirty-four ninety-five for this pick garb wired up with two pickups. Like I said, I took I took this one out and bought this. And this is seventeen ninety-five pickup right here. Another Dragon Fire twelve point two ohm. But uh, seventeen ninety-five for the Arco unit. 32.95 for the pick guard. I mean, you got you a nice little mod going here. You don't, you no longer have just one of those regular crappy little SSS single coil thing. This is now this is a HH, uh, you know, knockoff strap looking guitar.